<laughs> Welcome back to debt, everyone. Uh, I have a bit of a score adjustment to make here. Unfortunately, as I was reading the minus $250 question in the second category of cereals that go crunch, there was a slight technical difficulty, and the $200 that was deducted from John Paul's score, it was put back in its place. So, John Paul, what we're going to do right now, we're going to take away the $200 from your total, and that puts you down to minus $7,750. That ties you with Jennifer, so you two are right now in a heated battle as we go into our second round. But before we move on to the second round, I need to make mention that I was right about something. During the commercial break, one of the members in our studio audience is an F1 racing fan, and he tells us that there was another place with its country name known on its track, which is also Monaco. So, Clarissa Menando, we will bring you back on a later episode and give you another chance to get out of debt. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you later, Clarissa. And remember, Jennifer and John Paul, the one of you two who wins this round will go on to play to have us pay off your entire debt. But first, let's play gambling debt. In this round, I show you a category, and then you wager in between yourselves to see who can answer the most questions correctly out of five. If you can prove your worth by answering that number of questions bidded, you win the money. If not, your opponent gets the dough. Category values increase throughout the round. $500 is at stake on the first category, which is... <laughs> taken Down Rides. Now, this category reflects off of popular rides that have been shut down for good. Now, because there's a tie, we flipped a coin backstage to see who would start the bidding, and John Paul, it's you. Five questions is the max. Start us off. He said three, Jennifer. Well, John Paul, she made it four. And prove it. All right. He said prove it. So, Jennifer, four out of five of these will get you $500 off your debt. And here we go. Here's number one. I was a ride at Walt Disney World sponsored by Delta from 1989 to 1996, and I shut down in 1998 to become a Buzz Lightyear ride. Judges, did she get that out in time? Yes, you did. Just a split second before the buzzer, so that's one. You need three more, Jennifer. Here's number two. I was a major hit at many Six Flags theme parks, but most of me shut down because there were concerns about one of my towers. That's right, it is deja vu. Now, specifically, according to Wikipedia, the coaster broke in the test run. Jennifer... You have two left for $500 off your debt, and here is number three. Though my tower still remains at Six Flags Over Georgia, I was replaced by Acrophobia in 2001 when I used to spin planes around. That was the great American Air Racer, Jennifer. I have two questions left. You need them both for the money. Here's number four. I'm a former ride at many amusement parks, and I shut down in one of Six Flags parks to make room for Goliath. That was the Looping Starship, and what a question that was. John Paul gets $500 off his debt. The tie is now broken, but the game is still far from over, so don't fret yet, Jennifer. Alright, let's move on to our $750 category, which is... U.S. Citizenship. It reflects around the United States government and presidency. John Paul, start the bidding, please. He said three, Jennifer. Whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Did I hear Jennifer say five, John Paul? You know, actually, Jennifer, I saw you smile once that category came up as if I knew for a moment you'd go for five. So you will need all of them for $750 off your debt. Otherwise, John Paul will have a good lead, Jennifer, so good luck. Here's number one. I'm part of the U.S. Constitution that was written by Thomas Jefferson that gives the starting statement. The preamble, yes, ma'am. That's one. You need four. Here's number two. I'm the U.S. president that nearly went through impeachment, though I decided to resign in effects of the Watergate scandal. Richard Milhouse Nixon, that's right. Here's number three. I'm the amendment that guarantees the five freedoms of religion, speech, petition, peace, and the press. Wow, that's three in a row. But Jennifer, we're still not done here. You need the other two, and here's number four. I'm one of the earliest presidents to the United States and was actually the first one to live in the White House. Yes, John Adams, you are right. Jennifer, for $750 off your debt, I'm the U.S. state that was once the capital of our country before it was moved to Virginia. $750 off your debt, Jennifer. Wow. 
You are good. Now we got a game here. All right, let's move on to our minus one thousand dollar category, which is <laughs> on the road again. This talks about roads across the nation. Jennifer, you won the last category, so start the bidding. John Paul. Jennifer. Prove it. All right, John Paul, your chance to take one thousand dollars off your debt yourself. Here's number one. I'm the nationwide interstate that can be driven and cruised in cruising USA, and I am nicknamed the Main Street of America. Route 66, yes, sir. Three to go. Here's number two. I have many roads that go around our country, and I can be heard close to the chorus of the lyrics in the song Love Shack. That's right. Very good. Number three. I'm the name of a popular street in California that runs from Sunset Boulevard to Vermont Avenue. Uh, sorry, John Paul, it is Hollywood Boulevard, but I have to take your first answer of Hollywood Avenue. I'm sorry about that. You need the rest of these for $1,000, and here's number four. I'm the name of the road that the White House is located on, and my name is the name of the state where WWE wrestler Kurt Angle is from. Pennsylvania, yes, sir. For the money, John Paul, I'm a road in South Georgia that sounds like a military boot name or a Nissan car. Sorry, it is Ultima, but not in time. Jennifer gets the money. You almost said it, John Paul, but you held it in. You had to get it out of your system, but you just didn't get it out in the nick of time. $1,000 off your debt, Jennifer. Now, this is a sudden death situation for you, John Paul. If you don't get this category, you will be mathematically eliminated, and the game goes to Jennifer. This is for minus $1,500, and the category is... Game Show Mania World. It's simply on game shows, and start the bidding, Jennifer. John Paul. Prove it. All right, Jennifer said prove it, and you must, John Paul. Four out of five of these will get you $1,500 off your debt. Anything short of four correct answers, however, the game goes to Jennifer. Here's number one. I'm the name of a game show originally hosted by Tom Kennedy, then lasted a year with Monty Hall, and my name is like a second fraction. <laughs> that was split second. Split second. An awesome show. Now, John Paul, it's serious. I have four questions left. If you miss just one more, Jennifer wins. Hang in there. Here's number two. I'm the popular Mark Goodson game show created in the mid-70s, and though I've had five hosts, John O'Hurley hosts me. Family Feud, that's right. Now, for your information, the other hosts were Richard Dawson, Ray Combs, Louis Anderson, and Richard Karn. Here's number three. I'm a cult favorite of television game shows, and though True Carey presently hosts me, my popularity goes out to Bob Barker. One of the best out there, that's right. Two left to stay alive, and here's number four. I'm a 1980s game show revived in 1993, both done by Chuck Willary, and my name is derived from one of America's best crossword games. Scrabble it is! All right! John Paul, this is it. If you get this question, you stay alive and knock $1,500 off your debt. If you miss it, Jennifer wins. Good luck. Here it is. I'm the name of a vintage game show on Game Show Network, and my name sounds like a deadly pistol game. Russian Roulette! Jennifer wins the game! Russian Roulette! I thought you knew that one, John Paul. Well, Jennifer, congratulations. You are moving on to have us pay off your entire debt. And, John Paul, you are leaving us with this. Skip. John Paul, we apologize that we're not going to get you out of our debt. But here's our debt piggy bank gift for you. Along with a $2,000 savings bond. Good luck with your home. John Paul, you gave it a good try, and we appreciate you being with us. Jennifer, well played game there, I must say. We'll be back in a moment to see if Jennifer can move out of the red and into the black right after this commercial timeout.